Columbia Chamber, Susan McPherson, and uh, the partners that are all working together with our veterans and military. It's the Columbia Chamber Military Outreach Group, WIS-TV, WSTV Year of the Veteran. We also have University of South Carolina, USO of South Carolina, PALS, which is the Palmetto Animal Assisted Life Services. And uh, all of these group support veterans in active duty and their families as well. And in case you didn't know who the uh, Greater Columbia Chamber is, they are consisting of the goal, well, let me give you this. The goal, the great American defense community, is not to only be military friendly, but also to provide valuable uh, info and insight to military families through programs and supports uh, groups that they offer as well. And they have a whole bunch of vehicles too with this, this group too. The City of Columbia, uh, Kim wanted me to remind you uh, that once the parade got started, if you do cross, you're gonna to have to actually march with the parade down to the end before you come to this side. No, actually she doesn't want you to cross at all once the parade starts. So please stay on the side that you need to be on before they actually come through. Also, too, with the Greater Columbia Region, who are our Grand Marshals for this 41st Veterans Day. They support military in the community, but also work to promote and protect, and also grow the mission for Jackson. Also, the SCN, National Guard, and also the South Carolina Air Guard and McIntyre. And the Columbia Chamber Military Outreach Group consists of over 120 local businesses who work to support the mission of our military. For the Columbia Chamber nominated the Greater Columbia Region of the National Recognition of Great American Defense Community and also proudly the honor was bestowed on the region back in uh, 2019, which is just about the end of this year. They're also designed to recognize the overall support that communities and regions in the United States provide to service members and also family members. They're chosen through a competition, a competitive nomination process based on community building and integration. So ladies and gentlemen, our Grand Marshal approaching the viewing stand will be the great American defense community. Defense community. Let's give them a hand as they approach. Partners who are in the great American defense community involved, Columbia Chamber, WIS, USO, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, Base, and also PALS. Transporting the Grand Marshals this morning are veterans Mike Pikowski and Paul Daniels. Paul's vintage vehicle is a 1953 three-quarter ton Dodge M37. Extensively in Korea and Vietnam. And also, Mike is driving the first vehicle, which is a uh, 1971 M35A2, which is made by a general. And this vehicle right here, deuce and a quarter. Two and a half ton workhorse of the military. Those in the military have written in these things so many times. Mike and Paul, active military members and also part of the Military Vehicle Collectors of South Carolina.
so cocky. Also, the president, Bob Casling, University of South Carolina, is also a retired three-star general of the United States Army. WIS TV 10 year of the veteran. I see John People used to transport veterans to and from medical appointments. We also have the WIS satellite truck. Hey, What's up, morning crew? How y'all doing? Hey, we got the entire crew from WIS. What's up? Oh, you got the little cutie out there. She's so pretty. Look at her. And of course, the live satellite truck for WIS as well. You're so. used to transport the uh, veterans to and from their appointments. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Approaching the review, leading Fort Jackson, our commander and senior enlisted advisor of the United States Army Training Center and Fort Jackson. Please welcome Brigadier General Milford Meigs Eagle Jr. Native of Erie, South Carolina, Command Sergeant Major Jeremiah Gadd of Crocker, Missouri, with him as well. By the way, Fort Jackson is the largest basic training installation in the Army, training over 45,000 basic combat training soldiers annually. Following the Fort Jackson command team is the color guard from the 2nd Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment. Approaching playing you today, the 282nd Army Band under the command of Chief One Officer Three George Power. The band's history dates back to 1869. Has been active at Fort Jackson since 1956. Its mission to maintain morale and its freedom for soldiers and citizens by providing concerts and music for ceremonies on Fort Jackson and by supporting recruiting, educational outreach and events in the community. We have Fort Jackson's Drill Sergeant of the Year, Staff Sergeant Michael Bean. Staff Sergeant Begay competed for three days demonstrating to be the fittest, most proficient military skills during the 2019 Best Warrior Competition. And other soldiers are marching from the 2nd Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment. And this unit received the nickname at first Vicksburg during the American Civil War. When the soldier was the 13th Infantry Regiment was asked what his core badge was, the soldier would tap his cartridge box saying the model that still stands today, 40 rounds. His unit had seen combat in the Spanish-American War, the Philippines, and numerous battles during World War II. We also have the 2nd Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment. Two thirteenth is led by Lieutenant Colonel Joshua Taylor from Florence, Alabama, and Command Sergeant Major Travis Worth from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Left, left, right, left, 
Company B, commanded by Captain Andre Hernandez from Elk Grove, Illinois. Victory starts here. Some noise for these soldiers. Look at them standing tall, standing proud, representing the best of America. Uh, Company B, commanded by Captain Andre Hernandez from Elk Grove, Illinois, and also, by the way, in the rear of the formation is First Sergeant Kendrick, Hawaii from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Company D commanded by Captain Avery Holmes from Greensburg, Louisiana. And as you can see by the number of soldiers marching behind me right now. Also in the rear formation is the first sergeant, Tito Vasquez from Pegas, Puerto Rico. Company C, commanded by Captain Ramari Rakish from Plantation, Florida. I still remember some cadence when I used to be as well. See if I can just write. My recruit came to me. Okay, they don't worry, don't worry, respond back. Don't worry, respond back. Don't say nothing when Curtis says something to y'all. Keep marching. Look, 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 right. Which is real sergeant. Company F commanded by Robert Payne from Austin, Texas. Hook them horns. In the rear of the formation is the first sergeant, Andre Jenkins from Charleston, South Carolina. Soldiers looking good. Marching with a purpose. Bringing up the rear is the Army Humvee. Victory starts here. Give it up for our soldiers, Fort Jackson. And our soon-to-be soldiers, Westwood High School Army Junior ROTC. The Red Hawk Battalion, commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Megan Layton and Cadet Command Sergeant Major Shelley Nevins. Westwood High School Army Junior ROTC, a leader in the classroom, the campus, and also the community. Fort Jackson, Directorate of Family and MWR. They have five golf carts, and they want to thank veterans for their service and encouraging them to use Fort Jackson facilities. They have some flyers and stuff they'll be handing out, so hopefully we'll be able to. She didn't need a microphone either. She must have been a drill sergeant back then. Yeah, 
caught up with that golf ball. You're looking good running. Since I'm not actually going live, I'm not doing Approaching the reviewing stand, the Department of Defense Education Activity, Fort Jackson School. C.C. Pinkney Elementary School, Pierce Terrace Elementary School. Education, engage, power. Thank you for what you do teaching these young minds, for they are our future. Give it a proud teachers too, because I'm telling you, they do one heck of a job to get our kids together and squared away for the future as well. We appreciate you. Thank you for what you do. Appreciate you. Only one Boy Scouts of America, how y'all doing? Yeah, <laughs> Celebrate Freedom Foundation. <laughs> and of course the mayor, pro tem, Tamika Isaac Devine. And family. Miss Jane, how are you? AH1 corporate helicopter. Oh my, CMF truck. at the heliport, give me a ride. And this, of course, the Celebrate Freedom Foundation. We also have two Humvees, or this Humvee as well. Representing all branches of the military. Bring up the rear two Jeeps. Mighty Mighty. Thank you, Celebrate Freedom, for what you do. Thank you. Look off Elgin High School, JROTC. It's the Demon Battalion, Commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Smith. Cadet Command Sergeant Major Evan Stewart, Honor Unit with Distinction. And every year, they bring forth this huge United States American flag.
Lugor Belgian High School, JROTC. Followed by the American Legion Auxiliary Union, 249. American Legion Auxiliary Union, 249. President Rebecca Goodwin, along with other members, promise to honor and help veterans, service members, and military families, mentor youth, foster patriotism, and also good citizenship, and contribute to the betterment of the communities. American Legion Auxiliary Union, 249. Reba! <laughs> military timeline impressions. Uniform military living historians. Dedicated to the group of local living historians who portrayed the U.S. soldier from 1776 to present while wearing or displaying authentic uniforms, weapons, and equipment of men and women of the United States Armed Forces. Military timeline impression. The military vehicle collections of South Carolina. It's a veteran 501c39 corporation. Their mission is to educate youth and support veterans. And they want to thank all who are serving, have served, and also those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you, veterans. Happy Veterans Day from the Military Vehicle Collections of South Carolina. Spring Valley High School, JROTC. Retired Major Gregory Perry. Probably dress, precision, moving, in unison, and in sync.
in the Spring Valley High School JROTC. Consistently been the standard for excellence in precision drill over the years. From his 18 state championships and nine national championships in drill competition, Spring Valley Air Force JROTC serves as the reigning 2019 drill team state champions. 210 member corps of cadets comprising members that represent a cross section of service, social academics, and sports campus organizations. Congratulations, Spring Valley High School, JROTC. The Gold Star Wives of America Incorporated. These young ladies are widows of veterans. We salute you. Marching rubber band followed by W.J. Keenan High School, J.R.O.T.C., Raider Battalion, Cadet Battalion Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Taylor McLeod, under the leadership of Chief Warrant Officer 3, Alan Robinson Bird, Master Sergeant John Roberts. every day right here in the city of Columbia. It is the Columbia Police Department. as well. These are the future officers. McGruff, the grind dog. McGruff, kick him out, make him walk. We need to walk. CPD.
Columbia Fire Department, Columbia Richland Fire Department. They handle both. Look at Mike Dessou. And Jean, Aubrey Jenkins, taking a moment to get a photo shot. the tips as the cooling temperatures are predicting. We got those heaters, candles, electric blankets, all those kinds of things. Please be careful and mindful as you try to stay warm for this winter season. They are followed by the Richland County Sheriff's Department. Under the leadership, Sheriff Leon Locke. And leading the way, Richland County Sheriff's Club and Honor Guard. I trained those guys. I trained all of them. You're looking good. You got your live PD deputies out here as well. Come over here, Perez. Come here, Perez. Hey, Sheriff, how are you? How you doing, Sheriff? And congratulations on the baby. There you go. That's my family right there. Richmond County Sheriff's Department family. Motor Patrol, Horse Patrol, there he is up there. Got the nice Camaros. That's the Cat Team, Community Action Team. doing what they do as well. <laughs> Got our Humvee and also Mojo rolling in the parade. Our veterans serving, protected. Camp's always up high. Special response team. Our version of SWAT. I'm trying. Blythewood High School Army JROTC Bingle Battalion. The Bingle Battalion is commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Faith Mull, the Battalion Executive Officer, Cadet Major Carrie Carr, and the Battalion Sergeant Major, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Sean. The Bingo Battalion is marching in three companies. Alpha Company is commanded by Cadet Captain Jay Frazier and First Sergeant Justin White. Bravo Company is commanded by Cadet Captain Jackson Galbert and First Sergeant Jasmine Garrett. Charlie Company commanded by Cadet Captain Colin Flores and First Sergeant Seth Godich. And the 371st Historical Society, World War I. Three seventy first Infantry Regiment, 93rd Division, World War I unit was organized at Camp Jackson, South Carolina. Military Order of the Purple Heart, Chapter 402. Chartered in 2005, named for the Medal of Honor recipient, Colonel Charles P. Murray, Jr., provide assistance to veterans and communities. 
The Comet, public transportation. This is the Purple Heart Community Rat Comet. Columbia Veterans Administration Healthcare System. 84,000 South Carolina veterans to continue to enhance services. They have over $160 million in approved projects, including 10 freestanding buildings in Columbia, four new clinics in Florence, Sumter, Rock Hill, and Orangeburg. Additionally, they will begin offering new state-of-the-art programs, including robotic surgery and telescope services to further augment services to veterans. Also for the Isley Brothers, they have won awards for band competition for best dance, best flag, and also best drum major. Eau Claire, watch your band, no hats. District 1 established back in 1973. George Mabry Jr., American Legion, Pulse 182. from the state Tucker Center Commander Morgan Denny. They support boys and girls state junior ROTC programs and veterans programs as well. General George L. Mabry Jr. Post 182. The Metal Marines Corps. Here come the Marines. The Metal Marine Detachment of the Marine Corps League has been active in the Columbia area since 1992. Made up of retired and former Marine veterans. They're involved in numerous community service projects through the year, including Toys for Tots. Palmetto Marines, United States Marine Corps, Semper Fi. And happy birthday to the United States Marine Corps. And next up, we have Dr. Johnny Ray Noble. Second Nazareth Baptist Church. Also in the vehicle with him is Deacon, Dr. James Knox, the oldest 
Living Marine in South Carolina. He will be 100 in December. Sir, good to see you, Pastor. He asked me, who was that cutie standing next to me? <laughs> it's his granddaughter. Gandy Griffin, VFW Post 4262. Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this Veterans and Auxiliary of Candy Griffin, VFW Post 4262, led by Commander Eddie Williams. Established in 1945, these Patriots have returned home as veterans of foreign wars to continue serving veterans and strengthen our community for generations to come. Mailman! How are you fucking good up there? Thank you for your service. Appreciate you. Veterans of Foreign Wars, BFW Post 4262. How y'all doing? Looking good in those vets. you and your search. Ladies and gentlemen, approaching the reviewing stand, Congressman Joe Wilson. Honored husband of Roxanne, proud son of World War II flying tiger. Grateful father of four sons who have served in the military overseas. A 31 year veteran of the Army Reserve and South Carolina Army National Guard, Congressman Joe Wilson. Precision. Check out the sound. Check out the look. Three time champion. That's why. Pavetal Base, United States Submarine Veterans Incorporated. Led by Commander Jeff Funes. 
based in Lexington, South Carolina. 60 plus members served in Korea, Vietnam, Cold War. And the nuclear power in its submarine. Air Force JROTC, home of the Yellow Jackets. Distinguished unit for the last 27 years. Unit was established back in 1972. Unit volunteers annually performing over 1,600 hours of community service. Post annual drill team competitions. Metal pipes and drums. The DAV Woodrow Wilson, Chapter Four. Commander of DAV Woodrow Wilson, Chapter Four, Loretta Lassiter Belton. United States Army retired. Command of DAV, Woodrow Wilson Uniforms, Jackie Gray. Chapter four was established November 1931. Second oldest DAV chapter in South Carolina. Over 1,140 members. 88 year old chapter has a single purpose, empowering veterans to lead high quality lives with veterans and their families. Yes, the full range of benefits available to them. Fighting for the interest of America's injured hero on Capitol Hill and also educating the public about the great sacrifices and the needs of veterans transitioning back into civilian life. DAV, Woodrow Wilson, Chapter 4. DAV fulfilling our promises. They are followed by the United States Navy Sea Cadets. The United States Naval Sea Cadets is a youth leadership development program designed for youth between the age of 10 and high school graduation. The Palmetto Division meets Fort Jackson one weekend a month and participates in events around the nation. United States Naval Sea Cadets. He says, what did you want, Curtis? What? I'm marching here, can't you see? There's no high fives in marching. School band, it is the launching capitals of Columbia, South Carolina. It is the band of gold. During the last CQ's inspection, they met all standards and won 38 awards during leadership training this summer. There are 87 cadets currently enrolled in the program. Unit is led by Group Commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Miles Scott Rivers. 
They are, check that, Air Force JROTC instructors are Major Ray Hammond and Master Sergeant Jimmy Gaffney. Transitions. The journey home begins here. Continuing to make a life for those in need and caring for those who need as well. Transitions, we thank you for what you do. Casey High School, JROTC. The cadets are more than just a group of teenagers. They're more than just a program. They are a family and they stick together. Brooklyn Casey High School, JROTC is under the direction of Major R.B. Mitchell and Sergeant First Class Sherman Crossley. Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 303. <laughs> Colonel Retired Sam Brick, President. He's got plenty of flags if you need a flag, just get up and bring your flag. Who needs an American flag? Greece Organization of America, Chapter 17, Vietnam Veterans of America, and the Reserve Officers Association.
Thank <laughs> you. 
that the library offers. You get the opportunity, make sure you stop in and check it out for yourself. The Richland County Public Library proudly supports our veterans with the Learn Freely Bus. And at all locations, great participants, our library staff members and volunteers who are also veterans and military spouses.
the Red Hats Bodacious Leavers. Under the direction of Queen Mother Sylvia Dickens. Consistent women, 18 and over, serving the poor, visiting nursing homes, and encouraging one another. We are eagerly with her. Look for the ladies with the Red Hats. Red Hats Bodacious Leavers. Yeah, right. 